Hello, my mama friends. I'm so glad y'all are back with me today. Um, I wanted to share an update on our homeschool curriculum. We have not changed a whole lot since I shared with you guys, um, I think back on Instagram when we started last August, but we have changed a few things. And so I wanted to tell you what's working for us, the things that we've changed and kind of all of that. So I'm down here in our school room. I've got my morning cart um, and it houses most of our school stuff except for like language arts and math. So I was going to share with you guys kind of what we're doing right now. So let's get started with that. So first of all, this year is our first year using the good and the beautiful and I am in love. This is not sponsored. They have no idea who I am. I am just a homeschool mom who loves this company, y'all. Last year, we did a completely different companies for different curriculums, and I've gotta tell you, Good and the Beautiful far outweighs them all, and um, we have been so impressed, and I have seen so much growth in my kids from using this curriculum. So let me tell you what we use. We use the Good and the Beautiful for language arts. Um, I use it for our kindergarten math. Um, I use it for science and history, and I use it for handwriting. And we love it all. The only thing that we don't use that's Good and the Beautiful for our main subjects is um, Gabe's math. And so he's in third grade. He uses um, teaching textbooks for his math. We love that. It works out really, really well. He is super um, skilled with math. Um, and so that I just felt like that would be the best option because I am not skilled with it. So he can do all of that on his iPad by himself. He doesn't need me at all. Now, every once in a while, he will have a question that I'll answer, but it's rare. So I love that program. Highly recommend that one for math, but I don't believe it starts until third grade. So we're using Good and the Beautiful before then. For Bible, we were using the More Than Words curriculum, and honestly, I didn't love it. Um, there wasn't a lot to it day to day, um, and there wasn't like a scripture to memorize, there wasn't scripture to read to the children daily, and there was just a lot that I felt like it was lacking. So I know a lot of people love that, um, but for us, it just wasn't working. Um, we do still love Doodle Devotions. So this is Doodle Devotions. It has a little devotional that the kids can read each day. And, um, well, we read it together and I'll read the scripture, I'll read the devotional, and then it has like a drawing assignment for them, like a coloring page. And so we do really, really love this. But as you can see, it has been well loved and we pretty much have done the entire thing. I think we have maybe like this much left that we haven't done. So this has been my favorite one so far. We used it last year, we, used, we have used it some this year. But what I have decided to do is just really just start going with like what I want them to learn. So last year we worked on the fruits of the spirit and we did some devotionals with that. We um, talked each day about it. We learned like a line a week or maybe two lines a week. And then this year we have been doing some different things. We've done the Lord's Prayer and they learn and memorize that entire thing. And now we're working on the Beatitudes. And so what I've done for that is I just looked around online and I found a website that had um, these little prints. And so I'll hang one of these up on our marker board every week. And we just um, talk about one of these Beatitudes each week. And I found a really cool book to go along with that on Amazon called Beatitudes. And so they've really been loving this. It's just little stories that kind of go along with the Beatitudes. It's 80 fables about the Beatitudes for children. And it has been really cool. I'll link this for y'all. They really enjoyed this. Um, and I like the little stories that go along with it. So we are learning all the Beatitudes right now. They're memorizing those. Next, I think we will work on learning the books of the Bible. And I've got to find maybe something fun to go along with that. But if you don't know, if you have never checked out Etsy for um, learning resources, you should definitely check them out because I've been able to find a lot of really good things on there. Like if you're thinking about a specific thing that, from the Bible that you want them to learn, like the fruits of the Spirit, um, the Beatitude, like a specific Bible character, or you want them to learn a specific um, character trait. Etsy is a great resource and there are so many affordable little extras that you can add. Another thing that we've added on is copy work. Um, I was finding that Landon especially, and 
of course he's only in kindergarten but he was having a little bit of a hard time um, with uh, writing like sentences like it would take him forever and I said okay we need to work on this and Gabe also needs to work on it too um, he's in third grade so any writing practice I can get him I'm all about so what I did was I got on Etsy and I think for like a dollar I found a copy work thing that I could print out that has its um, Bible verses A to Z. So every day they have a copy work page to copy um, and they do this before I get to the schoolroom in the morning. This is like after they brush their teeth and make their bed then they have to do their copy work. So they come down here and they do it on their own and I thought this one was just so pretty and I'll link it for you but it just has copy work um, A to Z on there. It just has Bible verses A to Z on there. So you can see like um, for A, it was the Romans 3.23, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And then for B, it's Acts 31, the believe in the Lord scripture verse. So anyways, we are loving this. They are enjoying it. And anytime I can get a little extra scripture in their hearts, I'm all about. So that's gonna be how we, um, tackle Bible moving forward. We're just going to kind of figure out what we want them to learn and then I'm going to just choose something simple to go along with that. And and the main thing that I want them to be doing is getting scripture in them every single day. So memorizing it, reading it to them, and honestly if you don't do anything else, I feel like that's an accomplishment and you really don't need any like fancy curriculum. But it is fun to have these little extras to go along with it. So that's what we've been doing for Bible. Now for our read alouds, um, we bought the good and the beautiful read alouds that go along with our history and the first one we loved but the second one was the Sarah and steed and we did not love that we just couldn't get into it i know that the boys will be interested in it when they get a little older but i felt like it was a little bit over their head right now so we were like you know what if we're not enjoying it we're not going to do it because it's not something that's like required and we're going to have fun with school so i decided you know what we're not going to do that we've been reading the wind and the willows instead um, they love this book. It is so cute. It does say a little, um, I don't know if a lot of people consider it a cuss word, but it does say a couple of little words in here that I've had to just like scratch out before I say them. <laughs> um, so that's the only thing I would say about this, but it is the cutest story and they are super into it. And, um, and this particular one that I got off Amazon just has the prettiest drawings and graphics in it. And they really love to look at these pictures. So I highly recommend um, this book and it's hardbound, it's very nice. Another thing we're really loving is this manners book. Um, it's called 365 Manners for Kids and I just kind of skim through it, figure out what I want to talk to them about. It's, it's, if nothing else, it just gives you like prompts to talk to them about. I don't usually read it like word for word, but it talks about like slamming doors, when friends don't want to be with your siblings, um, frightening others, it talks about being a good friend, asking for permission first. Just a lot of really good things um, that we're trying to train the kids up with. So I just maybe spend like maybe two to three minutes on this, usually in the mornings for our morning time. And then of course we have our fun little books that kind of go along with the seasons or go along with our history lessons. Right now we have this one on George Washington. Um, we also have the snowy day that we're gonna read this week. Just little fun things like that that I, I like to add weekly. Um, what else in here? Oh, the other thing we've been loving is our fall bundle. I'm sure you have heard about these. They are all over Instagram, I feel like. But we have really been loving this. It just gives us a little extra fun in the um, mornings. This one's the one about polar bears. It gives you um, like the anatomy of polar bear writing prompts. And for like Landon, it gives them P is for polar bear so he can practice his P's. And so uh, they also have one on like whales. I mean, there's a million different ones that come in the winter bundle. Um, we did the one on Arctic already. We're gonna go to the one that um, talks about whales soon and we're gonna do the polar bear one too. So the kids have really been enjoying that. It's just a fun little extra and it's something that I don't have to think about. I can just print it off. I don't have to search for anything on Pinterest or anything, it's all there for me. The other thing I wanted to show y'all that the kids have loved doing this year is our um, letters from afar and our writings from the wild. Now this is like a letter sub subscription and um, it's geography is the letters from afar. The girl who writes the letters, her name is Isabel. 
And so Isabel travels to different places all over the world. So every month she's in a different place and she writes you a letter about it. And the letters themselves are just beautiful. And I love to, to look at them. And, I, and, and I'm guessing they're just, they're handwritten because they're just, and, and it looks like that someone drew these pictures. They're just really beautiful. And the stories are always fun and they really catch the boy's interest and they love them. So uh, she even sends like little, uh, it's a map that goes with it. These are her field notes. And she sends you a map showing you where, where um, the place she is at is located. And then just little facts about the place. The other one is the writings from, from the wild. And so each month they send you a different animal and it could be an insect or a mammal or um, a fish. Um, just all different ones and so this particular one was on mantis shrimp and it was just the coolest again I, I'm, I'm guessing it's the same company because the writing all looks the same and the pictures are similar to the, the letters from afar but um, anyways they are beautiful and super fun the boys always have a good time um, reading these so we just do these like maybe once every couple of weeks we'll pull one of these out as they come in the mail and that's always something really fun that the boys really look forward to they are like five dollars each to subscribe to and I tell y'all we are using history one from the good and the beautiful and we are loving it the thing i love about it the most is in just about every single lesson they are emphasizing character and so they talk about how this per particular person in history had great character and this is why, or this particular person in history had bad character and this is why. And um, like the other day we were doing George Washington and we were talking about the Boston Tea Party and things like that. And one of the things that they were emphasizing is how when the Boston Tea Party took place, that the men, they weren't stealing and vandalizing, but they did it peacefully and calmly and they did what they came to do. And they even swept up afterwards, they swept the tea off of of the deck and I just loved that they emphasized that they were like emphasizing that you can have a peaceful protest and just teaching our kids great moral values and great strong Christian character and that is hugely present in these history books and I love that so much so like I mentioned earlier we are doing the good and beautiful for science and we are loving it too it is so easy for me y'all <laughs> last year I was so confused with science and this year I just it is taking a huge burden off of my chest because it is all laid out for you and it's so simplified and it had it's so much fun there's experiments and things that you bake and it's it's been wonderful we have really enjoyed it so um, last from like August to December we did um, the mammals one from them and we loved it and so now we're moving on to marine biology we're hoping that the good and the beautiful's paleontology study will be out soon um, but until then we're gonna do the marine marine um, biology so they're really enjoying that so far and um, this is also a free free unit study so if you want to go to their website I think you sign up for their emails and this is a free download that you can get you can also choose to buy it um, and they'll ship it to you but I just printed it all out and it worked just fine too and speaking of free things and cheap things on the good and the beautiful's website um, their handwriting I love um, so I did buy the physical copy of handwriting for Gabe but he went through it like that and it was just very quick so I ended up buying for him uh, the PDF version so I can print it again and that has been really really helpful and so I just print it off um, and they do like a lesson a lesson of handwriting a day and that has been really helpful and Landon for Landon too um, I, pr I bought the PDF I think it was like 10 or 15 dollars for the PDF for the handwriting and, I, and I've just been printing that off and so they complete one or two of these sheets every day. And that has been so handy to have. And I love that because I really think they're gonna get through this whole handwriting book in the next probably two months. And so then I can just um, print it off again and they can keep repeating it until I feel like their handwriting has really improved. And then they can move on to the next level if I want them to. Someone woke up from her nap on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> So she needed mommy anyways I think that covered it all guys that is what we're doing right now we are loving it it's been the best school year so far and I just encourage you if something is not working for you even if you did pay money for it just switch it up try something different stick with something for a period of time just to make sure that you have given it a fair shot 
And if it's not working for you, it is okay to change it up. And the awesome thing is, a lot of times there are a lot of free resources online that you can do in place of that so that you don't feel like you're out money. So that would be my recommendation. And that is what we had to do with a few things is just, it wasn't working for us or it wasn't fun or we weren't enjoying it. And I said, you know what? We're gonna try something different. And so uh, for the most part, everything we chose back in August has been wonderful and we're loving it, but there are a few things that we've decided to change. And I'm really, really happy with those choices. So I would highly recommend that if you're on the fence and thinking, oh, I'm not enjoying this, then just switch it up and see what happens because I'm sure you'll be a lot happier. So that is it. That is our updated curriculum choices for the year. And I hope that you got some good ideas and I hope that you will join me for my next video. See you later.